Hey, it's Brickzar, and I'm going to party like it's 1999. This is a set from 1999. It's time for when I've been kind of calling Freaky Friday. I don't know. Come up with a better name. I like to look at weird and unusual Lego sets. And I know this is a Duplo set, and a lot of people are like, Duplo, oh, why is he doing Duplo? But you know what? I don't care. This has actually got a couple of good things even if you don't like Duplo. I mean, obviously it's got a lot of standard Duplo bricks, but it's the Purple Hippo Bucket. I mean, how can you not like the Purple Hippo Bucket? So it's set 2488, came out in 1999. Somewhere is the date. Where's the date? It's on there. Oh, it's on there. Right there, 1999. All right, so I'm going to dump this thing out as a bug crawls across my review stand. Get in there, bug. Very good. This is designed to frustrate children. Okay. Alright. Isn't that neat? It encourages children to put their Lego pieces back by giving them... Okay. Hungry, hungry hippo. This is why you like this set. Because of these. We got two hippos. A baby hippo and a mama hippo or a daddy hippo. And just a bunch of standard bricks. I think there might be... Actually, I don't even know for sure if the inventory is correct. But it's supposed to have 80 pieces. Which is awesome for a, a Duplo set. And it's a lot of standard bricks, it looks like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this. It won't seem like a long time to you. But I'm going to see if all the pieces are here. So I sorted everything out. Looked at the inventory on BrickLink. That's how you can verify if your sets are complete. See, there's useful information here, even if you don't like Duplo. So you go to BrickLink, you look, type in the set number, pull up the inventory. And if the inventory is correct, which, you know, most of the time it is. I do have find some that are incorrect. Uh, you can go, that, go from there. And I bought this on eBay or BrickLink. I can't remember, but only I was missing one 2x2 two two green brick and had an extra 2x4 red brick. Ooh. Is it the rare 2x4 red brick? I don't know. So, let's look at the fig. These are really the only kind of unique things you get. You get these curved slopes, which are not rare, but here's your thing. So, let's look at that. Pretty sure I've shown these in a previous video. I actually owned this set before, sold these by the figure. And they're pretty, they usually fetch a pretty good price, these hippos. The... The baby hippo is all one piece, but the mama hippo or daddy hippo, it can go up and down. Is that bug again? So, since it's just a random box of parts, you can build pretty much whatever you want. How do they build? Oh, I can build a tree. We can build a tree like they did, similar to what they did. Don't know if I can build it just like they did. Let's see. Whoa. Well, that's not too hard. So I built a tree. They also built a weird looking creature here. I do not know what it is, like a giraffe or something. There's all these different colors. But that's really the way Lego is to be built. I don't know if y'all ever. I've, I've shown in. The, on this channel before and I never did do all of them but there used to be a, the Lego Club magazine but before that it was Brick, um, Builders Club or something but the kids would submit their pictures of their creations and they're always multicolored like this I mean that's really you know the way to do it that's the way Bricksmith does it he's he takes a Lego set and makes it out of just random parts so that's pretty cool you see that goes like that it goes like that. I'm trying to build it like the, the box shows it here. Yep. What is that? His beak is this. I thought, where did the eyeball piece go? Oh no, did I use the eyeball piece? I used the eyeball piece on the tree. My tree has eyes. Okay. And then they do kind of an illegal type build style here. Awesome. Let's see if I can build a, a safari guy. That was more like a Hawaiian guy going on there. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, this is not right. 
Um, it's just not that. Yeah, I can't really do legs. It's a naked man. Um, there we go. That's our safari guy. All right, so tell me what you think of this set. It was a great value at the time, but the best part is when you get done. I think, I think technically this set was called Happy Hippo Storage Bucket or something. <laughs> so the ha hippo is only too happy to eat the pieces for you. Here goes the wet grass creature. Real easy to, for the kids to pick up. It's like, too bad this won't be like that video of the cookie monster eating all the Disney cars and get hundreds of millions of views. It's just a grown man throwing Lego pieces and a purple hippo. Should that be the title of the video? Grown man puts pieces in a purple hippo. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Anyway, that's our weird set for this Friday. More coming. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. We're going to be doing more weird things. You know, why does this thing make me think of Barney? I love you. You love me. I'm not a dinosaur. I'm a hippo. See ya. Sprigzar. Bye.